Hi, I am Amir. In the last segment, we have covered on pre-production some of the gears needed for multicam production. In this segment, we talk about choosing a multicam workflow and setting up your gear. From positioning and framing shots to matching cameras, we're going to look at MCP techniques for you to apply in your next shoot. Doing a multicam production is not an easy feat. Doing a multicam production without proper planning would end your production in shambles. Multicam productions are more successful if a few shooting techniques are followed. This includes following the 180 degree rule, holding good shots, and using controlled movement when changing shots. It is best to set up a day before the shoot. Determine the set setting first before you position your cameras. Is it going to be a talk show or a one-on-one -on -one interview? For shooting a talk show, which requires the host to speak to the audience, preferably use three cameras. Position the chair slanted at between 30 to 45 degrees angle towards each other. This will give a good three-quarter perspective of the host and subjects when they are interacting. Two camera in position would be able to capture the host and the guest in a three-quarter perspective at medium or medium close-up respectively. While the master shot camera must always be locked to shoot the whole set at all times. The video clip from the master shot would be a fallback shot when there are any changes in framing or focus on other cameras. If there is more than one guest, you can instruct the camera operator to frame the shot on the guest who is talking. For shooting a one-to-one -one interview, the seating position may use the same techniques, but some would place the interviewer and host seats facing each other. The camera usually will have an over-the-shoulder shot of the interviewer and guest. Do try out any set layout and position the cameras to capture the best angle you see fit. But double check to ensure that your camera placement isn't breaking the 180 degree rule. So what is the 180 degree rule? Let's use a simple talk show as an example. If the host and guest are facing each other, draw an imaginary axis passing through them. If your master shot camera is placed on this side of the axis, you're free to shoot anywhere within the 180 degree arc on the same side of the action line. If handheld camera goes beyond the line, or if you place the camera on the other side, it will change the position of the host and guest on screen and can be confusing to the viewer. Obeying the 180 degree rule gives the viewer constant perspective of the action. Be sure to do a test run on all your gear at least a day before or do a dry run to ensure there will be no hiccups while doing the MCP. If you are shooting for post-production, first, Check the camera setting and set accordingly. If the production is for TV broadcast, set it to 1080i50. If your camera has waveform feature, make sure the video conforms to the broadcast standard. Second, format all your memory cards. You surely don't want to have unnecessary footage clogging your hard drives. Third, do a white balance. Make sure all the lighting is on and place the white paper within the set and not right in front of the camera. Fourth, check the audio source and level. Make sure every camera records audio if you plan to sync the by audio and it doesn't have any distortion. Fifth, assign the shots to your camera crew. If you are not using live switcher to monitor your cameras, you may want to assign specific subjects or shot types to each camera operator to avoid overlap. You're all set, but there's one last thing you need to do before shooting begins. You need to provide a sync reference to all your audio and video sources. Clapbots will give you both a visual and an audible single frame reference for syncing multiple clips. Otherwise, have someone clap hands in view of all the cameras as they are rolling. Now, you call for camera and audio roll. Once all the camera and audio operators confirm all is rolling, you can start the shooting. Two rolling. Three rolling. NNK Show. Welcome to the NNK Show. I'm Nasha. And I'm Carissa. Today, we have a very special guest with us. I hope this will be able to get you to kickstart your multicam production and get good video clips for your post-production. In the next segment, we will explore on live switching in multicam production and doing a multicam edit in the post-production process. See you!